Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Jay Caliber, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Brown Bomber. After my Dream Unusual video that came out last Wednesday, I've been playing around the idea of getting one of these bad boys in an unusual format for some time now, but before firing the gun on a purchase, I thought I'd do some digging into the hat and you know, do my due diligence on it, just so you know I know what I'm buying before I buy it. The Brown Bomber is an all class hat, that's all class, all nine of them. And it was added to the game as part of the Smithmas 2011 update and was added to the game on the 15th of December 2011. This update was known as the Australian Christmas, which was a golden time for TF2 as it was the same update period where we got the first festive weapons in the naughty crate and the best winter cosmetic crate arguably of all time. I love it. And it even came, we even got the Pomsen and the Phlogistonator. It was all same update. You originally could only get the hat by opening a nice winter crate with a nice winter crate key. These crates have not been openable now since January 1st, 2012, making the time period to actually get one of these hats by opening one of these crates pretty small. This this only gave you the hat in unique form as well. There was no strangers back then or anything. It was just the unique version and it was the best cosmetic crate ever. I'm not even joking. Valve made the hat a potential drop cosmetic, which I myself, you know, have had twice now in the drops, but when Valve made this a drop item, I, I couldn't find it. It's, it's unknown when they actually made it a drop item. I, I don't know, really. You can obtain the hat from crate number 36, which is the discontinued Smithsmith crate, so you can't obtain it, but you could. The Manco store for an obscene price, chemistry sets from MVM to get the collector's variant, which I'll come back to in a bit, and as part of the meet your match update, Valve added the strange and the unique version to the opened all class cosmetic crates that you can just buy from the Manco store. The unusual variant of this hat can be found in a wide number of crates. Uh, it can't be found in cosmetic cases, we, we you know, we. You can now still get it, but only from the older crates that don't have the cosmetic grading system. Uh, they do have a chance of having the unu unusual uh, brown bomber. So basically any crate that doesn't have like elite grade, commander grade, special grade, all them, the older actual crates have a chance of having any unusual in it. There was no limit to what hat you could get in it. There was a limit to the effect, but not the hat. Whereas these newer crates, you can only get what's in that list in unusual format, which kind of sucks. In terms of numbers, there is known to be about 49,000 unique versions, 1,355 1, strange versions, 1,232 unusual versions, two self-made versions, which is just the guys that made it, and only one collector's version, possibly making the collector's version one of the rarest hats I've ever heard of that would be tradable, you know, because there's loads of, loads of hats out there that are really rare, but you can't trade them. So pretty goddamn rare. It's also worth noting the hat has two styles. It's got a hipster version, which has a plaid pattern on it uh, in black, and a hunter's version that is just brown. The hat was made by two guys. It was made by a guy called The Ronin, who is responsible for most of the invasion update models and the maps uh, in TF2 and TF2 cosmetics for that update, including um, the map invasion itself and probed. Uh, that are actually in the game still and psyche who has also contributed many tf2 hats to the game which have been accepted including the famous chicken kiev the the bird face for the heavy and the kringler arguably my favorite winter themed jacket for the soldier both these individuals have made their staple mats in the tf2 community and you should go follow them in the links in the description to their steam community uh, pages. Apart from that guys, I've been Jake Albert. I hope you found this little history nugget on the brown bum bomber to be um, interesting. Be sure to check out my other videos. Links to my Twitch, Twitter and Discord are in the description below and have a good one.